can I ask you about Cole Palmer? Obviously, he's scored 10 Premier League goals so far this season. I just wonder, when in the summer when you were considering his future, did you feel he was ready to make that big step into becoming such a consistent Premier League player? If was he if that could stage? play regularly like it's happened, yes. I didn't have any doubts about his quality. Uh, a part of the stats, the way he's playing is... Uh, a star player, so he's already a, an exceptional, an exceptional player. So, good in guys. Hope you're well. Same process as ever, Max. On either side, if you can reach out to us, maybe like to ask a question. We're setting embargo part way through for tenth minutes this evening. That with Nas, please. Good afternoon, Pep. It's been uh, a good week with two good victories. The next challenge is Chelsea, an improving Chelsea. What are their strengths and what challenges do they uh, bring to the Etihad tomorrow evening? It's an exceptional team. Exceptional in all departments. One of the toughest games we have until the end of the season. It's been tough for Maurizio Pochettino, but you can see the last couple of weeks they have improved a lot. It's, it's a tough job down there, isn't it? It's playing really good. The last game has played really, really good. Uh, they have everything. It's intense and uh, the quality. And most of the teams define if they are able to don't lose the balls. And it's difficult to find a player that can lose the balls. And a really good team. Tough one tomorrow. In terms of the, the injuries, can you give us an update on, on Bernardo Silva, Jack Grealish, and are there any other injury worries for you? Uh, Jack, I think, will not be ready, and Bernardo will assess now in the training session about his knock. And uh, Koba, I think, is back, or training at least, and Sergio as well, so and the rest we'll see. We'll see now when they arrive. Uh, hi, Pep. Um, can I ask you about Cole Palmer? Obviously, he's scored 10 Premier League goals so far this season. I just wonder, when in the summer when you were considering his future, did you feel he was ready to make that big step into becoming such a consistent Premier League player? If was he that could stage? play regularly like it's happened, yes. I didn't have any doubts about his quality. Uh, a part of the stats, the way he's playing is... Uh, a star player, so he's already a, an exceptional, an exceptional player. So he travelled, or he moved on to got the minutes, the minutes that he has, and it just was a question of time, and he showed his immense quality. Can you be happy for an academy player that goes on to do another course. team? Or, yeah, of course. There's no regret. A lovely lad, and he helped us to achieve what we achieve. Absolutely not. And can I ask you about your? rivalry with Mauricio Pochettino as well because it's a rivalry that goes back obviously to your playing days and managers as well. You faced each other a lot. How would you describe your rivalry? I know you speak about Jurgen Klopp as being your greatest rival, but, but what about Mauricio? I have a lot of respect. Hi, Pep. Um, you've been in lots of two team title races, Real Madrid, Barcelona, the famous ones here with Liverpool. It looks like it might be three teams this year with Arsenal, Liverpool and yourselves. Have you ever been in a, a three team title race before? And, and if so, how does that change the dynamic? Let's win our games. When we arrive the last eight, ten games after, we'll see how many players are in, teams are involved. So I think these three will be there, but can add someone, so the distance between the four or the fifth is, is so mina. So uh, we'll see at the end. But this question, it doesn't matter with two, three, or four. If you, we are there, it's just to win our games. Do you think it makes it easier for you to concentrate on your own games because it's more teams involved? You have no what before. It doesn't matter you are alone with the two or three or four. You have to do our games, you win our game, do our job. The rest doesn't count. European football back this week, of course. Arsenal haven't been in the Champions League for a while. Liverpool in the Europa League will be playing on Thursday nights. So you have the experience of balancing the Premier League with European football. Do you think that could be an advantage for you over the next few months? I don't know. I think Liverpool is not going to play in this Thursday. We'll qualify first 
and that's why first they don't play this round. But uh, of course, the teams that we have European competitions, they have more games than the other ones. But we prefer to be there than don't play European competitions. No complaint at all. Hi, Pep. Uh, just on Jack, um, have you been able to do, have a proper assessment of him yet? And you know, how serious is his problem? I don't know. Do you speak with the doctors? I only know I, he's not able for tomorrow. <clears throat> no more? Okay. Set the embargo for 10.30 this evening.